Hello, my fairy tale fangs, Austin the Brimstone here, and welcome to the almost 3,000 subscriber special, a title and video that will become obsolete nearly the day it comes out. If you're watching this uh, after I hit 3,000 subs, congratulations, you are a true believer. Uh, but I was looking through my back catalog of videos, and about a year ago today, I did a video called Thank You for 500 Subscribers. And considering now we are just about to hit 3,000 subs, uh, by the time this is edited and posted, uh, we may already, uh, I figured that it was time to update and kind of do a part two to that video. So I just want to talk and thank you all for the massive growth of this channel. It would kind of be foolish to not address the elephant in the room. Uh, in the past, I would say five or six months, we have grown 12 fold and then some. So I just want to say thank you all for your support. Thank you for watching. And I do read every message and comment I get. It is not the clicks that matter, but everyone that leaves a nice note and that reaches out to me personally, I really, really appreciate it. I live a very busy life, and while I can't respond to everything, I do read it all. So I just wanted to talk about some fun things and channel updates and maybe address some of the viewer questions I have been getting again and again. So let's talk Shrek. There's a lot of Shrek behind me. Shrek is something that I am extremely passionate about. Shrek was my childhood collection. It is a film franchise that I greatly care about. When I started this channel, I did not think that there would be any interest in adults collecting Shrek. I just figured it was one of those franchises that was just seen as uh, kitty stuff and that for the most part, it would just be lumped into my interest in animation and anthro collecting as a whole. So this channel has always had a big focus on collecting cartoons, uh, particularly uh, Foley and Anthro cartoons. And there were Shrek stuff featured only in the channel. Uh, who remembers the toy pickups videos? I would always show off whatever Shrek pieces I got. But actual Shrek-centric videos, when I did make them, rarely time to time, uh, they just didn't do too well. But I did a video called The History of Nick Fallen Shrek Toys, and that video had a life of its own. It sort of went viral, and it sparked this new movement in Shrek collecting, and it's really been an amazing ride. I love that there are so many people now coming out and saying they collect this stuff, and I'm not going to say that I played a part in the Shrek collecting scene. I think that would be ridiculous. But I have noticed as a collector of this stuff that in the past six months, I have seen interest and prices in Shrek merchandise go through the roof. It's like all of a sudden, this is the thing that people want to collect. Figures that would go for pennies on the dollar are now in hot bidding wars. It's pretty crazy to watch. And I do love to see it. I think it's great to see so many people uh, talking and bonding about collecting this. And if my video just plays a small part in bringing that community together, I think that is awesome. Uh, for people that watch my videos and are into Shrek, I mean, who wouldn't? Uh, I really got to tell you about this account, Shrek History. You have to go give them a follow. Uh, they do the Lord's Walk on Twitter of the latest and greatest Shrek stuff. So go give them a follow. And then uh, for, for people collecting Shrek, I do also get, like, one of my most common questions is, you know, how, how do you stay up to date with Shrek much? The answer is keep Googling and then go follow Shrek History and stay subscribed here because I'll try to keep on it as best as I can. And also, um, how do you find the Shrek much, right? That's another question I get is where does this all come from? Well, a lot of it truthfully comes from thrift stores and flea markets. I try not to pay full retail for anything. I try to get a discount on everything because I'm a cheap curmudgeon. Excuse me, I'm going to sip here. But uh, I also just keep a sharp, sharp eye on eBay. I track Shrek, Shrek action figure. Uh, sometimes 
character specific searches like Puss in Boots or Princess Fiona will get you different results. I would just say keep looking, you know. These good deals and finds, they don't just jump out of you. You have to find them. There's a Fiona action figure I have here. Actually, let me get it. This one here, this is an extraordinarily rare figure that I really wanted to do a video on. I knew it existed and nobody had talked about it. So I literally just refreshed eBay for a year and was able to get it. So, you know, just keep a sharp eye and, uh, you know, do the dirty walk and the the Shrek goodness will come to you. So I have a lot of Shrek videos in production. They are my most popular videos by far, and I do intend on keeping fully up to date with Shrek March all the way through Shrek 5, because why not? So I'm working on Shrek action figure videos, uh, videos related to the Puss in Boots movies, and uh, all sorts of fun stuff. I don't want to give anything away. Just keep watching and expect a lot more Shrek. Now, what about non-Shrek stuff? I have had a couple people say, hey, I was subscribed before The Great Shrekening. Please don't tell me you're giving up on all of the cartoon and anthro stuff. And the good news is I'm not. Uh, this channel has always had one goal, and that is to be an adult enthusiast channel for collecting toys and memorabilia of cartoon, CGI, and anthro cartoons. That's like the very long definition of this channel. And I do plan on making non-Shrek content and mixing it in there. I did do a couple of videos recently. I got the uh, Sonic 3 figures. If you haven't watched those, check them out. And then I also did a fun video where I talk about classic animated movies that I think should get toys. So watch that one if you haven't. And I do have a couple more in the pipeline that are going to be cool. Uh, I have more Sonic the Hedgehog stuff I'm working on. Uh, more Zootopia, a lot more Zootopia, and then some more classic anthro and foley related content. I would say if those kind of three franchises that define this channel, it would be Shrek number one, and then right below that are Sonic and Zootopia, and then everything else below it is kind of my main interest in cartoons and anthropomorphics. And uh, it, it's funny to me that Shrek and Foley doesn't have as big of a crossover as you think it would. Like, yeah, Shrek's got a talking donkey and there are anthro characters, but uh, lest we forget that we got the two Puss in Boots movies out of the Shrek franchise, and my personal opinion is that Puss in Boots 1 and 2 are the two greatest animated anthropomorphic films. I truly believe that. Watch them back to back. If you watch Puss in Boots 1 and then Last Wish in a row, you will see these movies for the absolute masterpieces they are. They are just a masterclass in animation. Those two Puss in Boots movies are absolutely amazing. And I do want to do like eventually a big review on those and talk about why I think those films are so, so amazing. But we'll get there down the line. We have literally years of Shrek-related content uh, ahead of us. It's more like it. Shrek and Donkey on another whirlwind adventure. And there's a second big announcement I have in this video, and that is that I am in the process of moving. Don't worry, it's not gonna upset the uh, schedule by any chance. Uh, we're still gonna be making lots of great content, but if you're wondering why I haven't done a room tour recently or a collection tour, it's because I have about half of my stuff packed up currently. But just for the hell of it, uh, we're going to cycle the camera around, and I will show you my room in its current state. Let's check it out. So this is my collection when everything that isn't Shrek, Sonic, or Zootopia is packed up. And yeah, I know, I own a lot of crud. Simply too much stuff. And that's why I'm moving to a bigger and better place. Uh, where I live, you really can't get a lot of space anywhere. And I'm just going to move the camera here and give you some... Uh, Shots of the room. As I talk, we'll start all the way uh, here on the left. There's the Lola Bunny standee I used in that one video. And I don't know where to put that. I don't know if I'll keep it when I move or not. But uh, moving over here as we go through Sonic and Shrek. Uh, where I live, and I'm not going to give away where I live, but 
I'll just say it's the most expensive place to live in the United States of America. Unless you live in, like, I don't know, a Colorado ski town. It's really pricey to live where I do. And there's a lot of people moving out of it right now because it's just so expensive. Uh, I want my own place, and I want to be able to have my own kind of collection museum. Like, I should be able to sit and have all my collectibles around me. But if you want to have a room to yourself where I live, well, you pretty much can't. You'll be paying the better part of a down payment on a house. And uh, you will even have roommates. Like, I don't know about you all, but I just want to have a place where I can hang out with my collectibles and not have them uh, shared amongst six others. But there is a huge housing crisis where I live, and finding your own space is pretty much an impossible task. So I'm going to be moving out of state to a nice big apartment, and when that happens, I will do the next room tour, which will be the apartment tour, the Shrek apartment tour. Also, another reason I am doing this move is because the things I collect, Shrek Zootopia, they're going to expand. We have a new Zootopia movie coming out next Christmas. And y'all, I'm going to need the space for this stuff. Like, I can't just sit back and not collect this merchandise. I am a born collector and I need to spread my wings and have a bigger and better place. So I'm excited to move out and start this kind of next chapter of my life, find my own place, and, you know, make some fun content along the way. And I don't know about you all, but when I was packing this stuff up, uh, I was pleasantly surprised by how spacious my room now is. Granted, you still got laundry and clothes, bumping up against action figures, but if you're a longtime channel viewer, uh, you remember how cluttered and crazy I used to live. But this new setup, I don't know, y'all, it's kind of classy. I'm kind of feeling it. So maybe when we move to this new place, I will keep some of the extra stuff packed up in storage and just really focus on the Shrek and Sonic and Zootopia. But I do have some other stuff here. This is kind of like my everything else shelf where I just keep my some of my favorite figures related to animation and action figures. You'll probably recognize a few characters here. But don't worry, I plan on covering everything Shrek in the future as we uh, head towards... Shrek 5. Hopefully this shelf right here, this is the one I really want to expand. The ultimate 6-inch Shrek figures. I do like the vintage figures, but they're not very articulated. All of them are just kind of like slightly posable. Granted, that was what figures looked like at the time. Uh, modern articulation is relatively new, I will say. Relatively new. And I'm excited to see what figures we get for a new Shrek film. So consider this a tease of a proper full-on room or apartment tour. And we'll end the video on this photo right here of me when I was five years old with Shrek and Donkey because that's what this channel was really about. It was me celebrating something I loved as a kid and now as an adult. And I wanted to make a collector's space. I made these videos just for me, just to document this collection in case, you know, something happened to the collection or God forbid me, you know, people would know that out there, I was just a dude who collected Shrek figures. But there is a lot of interest in this stuff and the support I've received is truly amazing. Whether you came here back in the day for the Sonic videos or whether you have recently joined with the Shrek videos, just know that I am thankful for all of the support every step of the way. I truly, truly am, and I cannot wait to see where this journey takes us over the next few years. It is really going to be an amazing ride.